Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It's a few minutes past 7 o'clock this morning. My name's Tom Rigsby, your host. Trying to get things back in the saddle here. I think I've got a uh, an, at least an interesting topic for us this morning. We'll see how that goes. As we are getting things rolling here and Facebook is doing all the work necessary to let you know that we are live, do, as you join me, do what Joe just did. Drop me a comment in there. See, if you're first doing this, like Joe is a lot of the time, you get you get to hear me say your name. I'm just saying. Drop a comment in there. Let me know that you're here. Well, that's occupying more of the screen than usual. Drop a comment. Let me know that you're here. Say hi. And it matters not to me whether you are doing it live, watching live, or on the replay. Maybe, maybe you're even listening on your favorite podcast catcher. That's cool, too. However, <clears throat> whatever works for you. I need some coffee. So <clears throat> apparently it's springtime and um <laughs> got to get the antihistamines out. They are killing me this morning. All right. So uh how was your weekend? Very well, I hope. I hope that it uh you, you had an opportunity to rest, relax, get recharged, and head into this week ready to rock and roll. So here is, so my title for today was Be Afraid, Be Very Afraid. I should find sound, a scary sound effects for that. At any rate, Be Afraid, Be Very Afraid here, and I'm working this off of a quote, maybe one that you've heard before, but it bears repeating comes from Francis Chan and says, our greatest fear should not be of failure, but of succeeding at things that don't really matter. You know, when we're talking about how to stop letting life happen to you and begin to create the life you crave, one of the things that we do is we will focus on things that don't really matter in order to get a really long list of things to do so that we can rationalize to ourselves, well, I'm I'm really busy, so things must be good. And I can't tell you how many times I hear people say, you know, I'll ask them, well, how, how have you been? How's business? Well, we're really busy. Okay. I mean, that's good. It, it, it's good that you're busy. Are you busy doing the right things? Because what we do <clears throat> is we will even actively do it actively go out to find things to do that are not the things that need to be done so that we can say, well, I, I've got all this to do. I don't really have time to work on that. All right. I'm so busy taking care of these hundred customers that, that pay me $10 each that I can't focus on how to develop this product that one customer will pay me a thousand dollars for. Think about that for just a minute. The math will kick in. I know it's early. So here's my encouragement for you today. And I'm, in, I'm in fact, I'm going to back up and not do an encouragement. Today I'm going to ask you a question. I want you to take it. <coughs> <coughs> wow. See, that's that springtime thing. Take out your to-do list as soon as it's safe for you to do so and take a look at it. Look at that to-do list honestly. And identify, you can circle, maybe even, I don't know, cross out the ones that are not important. They're just busy work. If I'd never do this, I mean, you look at it and just ask yourself this question. If I never do this, will anybody know or care? Now, you might say, well, I would know and I would care. Okay, Great. That takes you to the second question. If I do this, will it move me closer to that ultimate outcome I'm trying to create? And honestly, that's one of the things that people put off most frequently is actually defining what it is they're trying to create. Well, I, I have to have a job. You have to have a means of making income. You don't have to have a job. I, I have to have a job, so I don't have time to work on my little side thing over here. Okay. Then get happy with your job. I mean, 
this is really simple. It's very binary. And that's one of the things that we don't like in modern society. We don't like being forced into these binary decisions. It's right or wrong, left or right, up or down, not shades of right and shades of left. (laughs) I mean, if you're one degree left, it's left. If you're one degree right, it's right. This is not complicated, but we've made it complicated so that we can We can measure how right we are or how wrong we are. If you don't have an ultimate goal written down, I wish I could turn this camera and show you. I have seven of them right up there above my whiteboard. If you don't have them written down, they're never going to happen. I'll just tell you that right now. Even if you win the lotto, it ain't happening. Because your mind is not focused on creating those outcomes. It's focused on dodging those outcomes. That's that's really the underlying message from our quote today. The greatest fear, our greatest fear, should not be of failure, but of succeeding at things that don't really matter. Look at your to-do list today. And make sure the things that are on it really matter. I promise you, if you'll do that, you'll have an easier day, and your to-do list won't be nearly as long. All right, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up today. If you're li- if you do happen to be listening in your favorite podcast catcher, head on over to, to uh, Facebook seven minutes in the morning dot com. You can join the conversation there, and uh, just leave me a comment, say hi, catch all the back episodes. Everything's there for your perusal, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up today. You guys have a magnificent Monday. I'll be back tomorrow with another installment of seven minutes in the morning. And actually, tomorrow you get. A uh, a special uh, treat. The radio shows tomorrow too. All right, that's it. You guys have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.